What's up guys, Hong for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I wanna talk about Bruce Lee and his minimum standards for being a martial arts, okay? So this is a funny thing because I was having a, a couple of conversations this week with people online, uh, you know, in regards to um, their health and all that. And it's all people who've done martial arts before. Uh, some I trained with and some, well, I never trained with and I, that I never met, but, uh, yeah. And, uh, these people tend to be a little bit older, some of them. Right. And, and when I talk about, when I talk to them about like, okay, you know, how's your physical fitness level, what's going on, you know, especially during this quarantine, everyone's kind of gaining weight and stuff like that. So, and of course they, you know, they tell me, oh yeah, you know, we're doing better. You know, uh, we gain a little bit of weight, but it's under control, blah, blah, blah. But then when you look at their pictures, you know, it's obvious they're, you know, they're overweight, right? And uh, and after that, there's always the excuse, oh, you know, I'm older, uh, you know, it's harder, uh, metabolism, uh, blah, 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 genetic pre uh, predispositions for this kind of disease and all that. And uh, and these people consider, themse consider themselves martial artists, right? So I don't agree with that, man. All right, so let's, uh, and, and I thought about it. So this video is, uh, and it made me think about, okay, what it means to be a martial artist, okay? And regardless of, of how old you are, um, I don't think that's that's important, right? Of course, there's always the uh, metabolism, getting older and stuff like that, but no, nah, man, in, in my opinion, it doesn't fly. So why do I have my shirt off? I have my shirt off because I want, I'm 41 years old, guys, right? I'm 41, 41. All right. I mean, it's not extremely old, but I ain't exactly young either, right? I ain't exactly a spring chicken. I'm running, I'm about now at 10% body fat. Okay, 10% approximately. And uh, I did gain a little bit of weight uh, during the quarantine. So I was at like probably eight, nine, right? Before the quarantine, I went up to about 11. Then I checked myself, right? And I adjusted my my activity level and my diet and voila, I'm back. Now I'm probably at 10%, right? So you guys see 10%, um, you know, and I'm 41 years old. So let's get into um, minimum standards according to Bruce Lee. And this is something I read years ago when I was a kid, right? Years ago. And I still remember he had a huge impact on me. It's the whole reason I'm into martial arts and all that. Uh, it's really because of uh, this man right here, Bruce Lee, legend legend right like I, I just wanted to be like him and that's the whole reason i started martial arts i'm pr i'm sure a lot of you guys listening uh to this uh to this video here uh it's the same thing right you guys uh grew up watching uh bruce lee and stuff like that and you're like holy shit. and it got you into martial arts right so he had a tremendous impact on me and um yeah so I remember reading this and he was saying something to the effects of like, it's been a while, man. I tried to find that article again. I read it in the magazine. There was no internet back then, man. You know, so, you know, you get like Kung Fu magazines, Black Belt magazines, you know, and all that. So I read, I read an article and it's, he said something to the effects of if you're not in shape, if you're not physically fit, you have no place in martial arts, right? That might sound a little bit extreme, but and, and, but I, I agree with that, you know, and I'm 41 now, like Bruce died when he was 32, 32 years old. Right. So maybe if he lived longer, uh, he, he might've, you know, been a little bit more, uh, a little bit less, uh, strict regarding that, but I don't really think so, man. He was really into physical fitness. Like that brought him to another level. Right. And he understood the importance of it, of nutrition exercise. Like you guys know, man, he, he was like super strong for pound for pound amazing speed amazing strength right okay so his his standard was something to the effects of being able to do 30 push-ups 50 sit-ups okay and um from there i think uh did a certain amount of squats you know probably i guess maybe 50 squats like doing all of that back to back and then running from running a mile right so that's what i remember hearing okay and then so I'm like, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And then me now, I, you know, as, as an older athlete, martial artist, right? And uh, someone who's 41 now, like when I think about that, and also I'm a trainer, guys, right? So I, I, I train people in a gym 
and all that. And I do judo. Judo is my main thing, grappling, right? Uh, brown belt in judo, did BJJ for about six years. So yeah, and I've been doing martial arts my whole life. I, I've done Kung Fu, Taekwondo, you know, boxing, uh, kickboxing, Muay Thai, you know, I've touched on all of them, right? Self-defense stuff, whoa, all kinds, of, all of that, ah, eye poking, you know, whatever. So all that to say that w when I think about it now, it really is that I think that the minimum is 30 push-ups, but 30 push-ups done properly, right? Not bouncing up and down using momentum, but 30 strict push-ups, right? So at a, at a good momentum. So we're talking about uh, one second down, one to two seconds down, one to two seconds up. So 30 times like that. I would say at least 50 sit-ups, right? Not crunches, sit-ups. Like, you know, you you put your feet under something that can hold them down, then you come up, all right? So 30 times like that. No, actually, sorry, 50 times. I would put 50 for that. I would say 100 uh, squats, okay? But not like super fast, but just at a steady pace, you know, one second at a temple of 1-1, uh, uh, one, one, so to speak, right? So no pauses, so... It would actually be something like one zero one zero, right? But whatever, just let's call it one one. So one second down, one second up. One second. You gotta be able to do a hundred of those, in my opinion, okay? And then from there, you have to be able to do to run a mile, right? Run run a mile like in ten minutes or less, okay? And you have to be able to do at least ten strict push-ups. Uh, sorry, pull-ups, okay? So that that would be, in my opinion, the minimum requirement to be considered uh, fit enough to be a martial artist, right? Because, and even, so when you think about it, a lot of people are delusional, you know? Like, they're like, oh yeah, you know, I practice martial arts, and, and, uh, but they're fat. You know, and when I say fat, I'm talking about 20% and over, 20% and over body fat. I mean, it's not that you can't be a martial artist if you're, you're, you're at that, you know? But I mean, if you're overweight, chances are you won't be able to do what I just said, right? So if you're not able to do that, then maybe you're, you're, not, you're not in really good shape to, you know, um, like to be a martial artist. Because as a martial artist, in my opinion, well, one thing is that you have to be physically fit to be able to, to, to move your body, to, to handle yourself, right? Not to say that if you're not a big guy, you can't handle yourself, but I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's more than just physicality. It's, it's, a, it's a mindset being a martial artist too, right? So there's a, there's a, 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 a spiritual component to it, a, a mindfulness component to it, right? An awareness component to it in being a martial artist. So like, what does it say about you if you're over 25, 30%, you're like 25, 30% body fat, you know? And, and you call yourself a martial artist. Well, dude, you're, you're fat, man. You know, it's like, you, okay, I'm not, knowing how to fight is one thing, right? But being a martial artist is another thing, in my opinion, right? There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of fighters who aren't martial artists. And of course, there's a lot of martial artists who aren't fighters, right? But we're talking about just being a martial artist. So even if you're a martial artist who is not a fighter, who doesn't enjoy fighting, it's okay. That's fine, right? But that being said, you still, in my opinion, have to be physically fit. So, you you know, and that comes with, like, it's important because if you're not, then I mean, it's just not credible, man. You know, so you're saying that, oh yeah, I'm not a fighter, but I'm a martial artist. Yeah, but you're fat. And you can't handle yourself. You, you run out of gas out like nothing. Can't even do 30 push-ups. Can't even do 50 sit-ups. Can't even do 100 squats. Can't even do 10 pull-ups. Like, what's that all about? That's that's essentially uh, bullshitting yourself and bullshitting other people, right? And and I, I'm not for that, you know? So, and in any excuse that people come up with. Now, that being said, if you have some kind of uh, debilitating injury that, you know, prevents, that, that makes it harder for you, okay, uh, that's, that's, that's understandable to a certain extent, because there's guys out there. Um, I forgot the name, but there, there's this, uh, African-American wrestler. He has no legs and he wrestles. He's jacked. He lifts weights, you know? So all the, I'm just saying excuses, man. They're just lies. They're just lies. You tell yourself Jocko Willing says this. It's just lies, man. It's weakness, it's lies, and you have to you have to understand that. So 
I don't think that uh, you don't have to be a fighter, but if you want to call yourself a martial artist, you have to uh, be physically fit. You have to take responsibility for your physical fitness, what you eat, how you train, how you sleep. You know, it's mental, it's spiritual, it's physical. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah. So those, 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 those things there. So, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that if you're not in shape, listen, you only have yourself to blame and you're not, you're not, you're not walking the walk. Uh, you're not talking, uh, you're not walking the walk, right? You're just talking the talk. And I don't believe that, uh, uh, you know, like people are, I don't believe that's a good thing. I, I don't think that you're a real martial artist. If all you do is talk, you know, you talk all day about this and that and, and, uh, talk about martial arts which one is better and blah 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 and you practice this and you practice that yeah but are you fit okay because it, it represents who you are too you know your level of conscientiousness and discipline in regards to your physical health and how you eat how you sleep and stuff like that so if you don't have that under control then if you if you want to call yourself a martial artist in my opinion martial artists yes there's that spiritual component there to it but yeah there is the martial art component no it's not it's martial martial military fighting war killing you know so i mean if you you have to understand those aspects of that and to be able to fight and to defend yourself and to to attack and this that you have to understand all so you have to be physically fit you have to know how to fight then you have to understand warfare and blah 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 and you know you have to evolve and and you know there, there's that spiritual thing uh, about it, there's the whole, um, uh, hmm, there's the physicality part of it, you know, there's the, um, yeah, so there's, there's, a, there's a bunch of things, right? So that's why I think it's, it's, if you're, if you're, if you're fat, whatever age you are, whether you're in your 40s or your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, you know, your 70s, I don't care. You still have to be reasonably, you have to be fit. You have to be fit, right? Because if you're not fit, it just says something about yourself. It's, it means you're lying to yourself. You're not disciplined. And a martial artist is supposed to be disciplined, right? So you have to be able to keep shit under, under wraps, right? So you can't, you have to have the minimum standard and you can't be too fat. Because the thing is, if you're too fat, like some people, depending on your genetics, okay, some people, I mean, they're made to walk around at maybe 25% body fat. If they're like endomorphs, you know, people are just genetically predisposed, you know, so at 25%, but hey, as long as they can do uh, those things that I mentioned, right, which is 30, 30 push-ups at a steady pace, okay, 100 squats, 50 sit-ups, 10, 10 pull-ups, strict pull-ups, not kipping pull-ups, like jerking yourself up and messing up your shoulders, and running a mile in about 10 minutes or less. Dude, you're not, you're not fit. You know, and you got to fix that, you know, and it's, it's, it's like a lack of discipline, a lack of uh, commitment, fortitude. And, uh, you know, like, it's just, no, nah, man. So you're not a martial artist. A martial artist is disciplined, right? Discipline. I'm not saying you have to get that and be lean and look good and all that. But hey, if you're, if you're at 15% body fat as a man, you're going to look good. Okay. Now, if you're at, if you're a little bit predisposed to be a little bit heavier, right? Because of your genetics, because maybe you were a, a really fat kid because your parents uh, screwed up, okay? And you have more just fat cells that you have to deal with. It's a little bit harder. Okay, but 20 to 25%, tops, tops, man. And you still have to be able to do those things that I mentioned. Or else it's like, man, you're just bullshitting yourself. You're not a real martial artist. If you're fat, you're not a real martial artist. It, 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 it just displays a lack of discipline, a lack of knowledge, a lack of, maybe not a knowledge, a lack of execution. So you're, you're a joke, man. You're a joke if you're, if you're too... Um, I don't care how old you are, man. Like I, I have somebody in the community here, man, much older man, like 70. And I, I, I saw like he sent me a video of him training the other day. I was flabbergasted. I was like, holy, what? wow, amazing. Am like, man, I could have sworn he was like 40, 50 years old, right? 70, 70. No excuses, man. No excuses, you know? And um, of course, with time, we we're not, we're not going to be you're not going to be as strong or as muscular and stuff like that when you're in your 20s and for, as you get older, unless you're taking anabolics, but that's for a different video. But still, man, to me personally, you know, and people always tell me that, oh, you know, oh, 
you don't understand. You're not 60 yet. Oh, you're not 55 yet. Dude, I'm 41, man. In a couple of, like, you know, you, you guys are going to see. I, that's why I have my shirt off. Oh, and because I want to show you guys. And I'm natural. I don't take anything. Like, well, I mean, I take food and vitamins and minerals and, and stuff like that, like some supplements. But I don't take any any pets, you know, any any performance enhancing drugs, uh, steroids or any, any kind of that shit, you know, SARMs or whatever. And um, it was a funny thing. I was talking to this guy on, uh, on, on, on Facebook and he was asking me, you know, I was like, uh, hey, man, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. We're talking about fitness and all that. And then he, he was telling me, oh, uh, is that a recent picture of you? You know, like, because on my Facebook uh, uh, um, uh, profile picture, right, there's me flexing because I'm in the gym. I'm flexing with all my shirt on and I'm showing my back. And it's, uh, I put a couple of filters, of course, so that it looks more better than it actually is. But even without the filters, man, it's still, I'm still ripped as shit. But then with the filters, then I look, it's friggin' insane, right? So it's like, this guy's looking for excuses, you know? And I understand there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of BSing on the internet. You know, people will filter out stuff and, uh, you know, they look better or they put a picture when they were younger or when they were in preparation, like competition prep or whatever. And, oh, look, you know, they just, they just got lean and, and all that for their photo shoot. And, and after that, they're fat again, you know? No, man, I'm like this year round, you know? And that's why I have my shirt off. It's just to show you guys that this is where I'm at actually, you know? It's not just me putting a profile picture looking good uh at that little moment in time for very short periods of time and then boom all of a sudden now i'm a fat fuck and i'm just hiding hiding behind that uh the glory days or whatever you know so that was funny to me um okay so it's all excuses man like if if you're not uh you know if you're not fit and you're you know i'm not saying you have to have a six pack but if you're not fit and you're you, and you're too fat you're not a real martial arts man it's just, it's all talk. You're delusional. You're delusional. You're lying to yourself. That's what, uh, that's my rant. And uh, so let me know what you guys think. Do you guys agree, disagree? And uh, let the let the conversation and the arguments begin, right? So you don't have to agree with me, but listen, tell me why you don't agree, right? Don't just call me an idiot. It's okay if you do, but I mean, whatever, you know, that's, uh, I, I just disregard those kind of comments because it's just, you know, uh, trolls, you know, uh, keyboard warriors or whatever you know but if you disagree tell me why you disagree right why would you disagree like and, and you know and uh and, and that way we could have a, a a real conversation about it right and discuss it and then we could try to prove our points and and point out examples and this and that and uh you know have a conversation about it right an intelligent conversation and discussion regarding um this subject here of of being fit uh being a real martial artist and yeah, man, that's it. So guys, uh, thank you for, very much for watching and like the video, subscribe, of course, and share the video. It helps me grow the channel and all that. And I hope you guys are being safe for quarantine, right? Stay fit, guys, because here's the way I see it. Everyone's catching this, uh, this virus at one point. Everybody's going to get it, all right? And it's going to be a purge, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, like survive all the fittest kind of thing. So if you stay healthy, strong, right? Get your cardio up. Work on your phys your 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 conditioning, your fitness, your muscles. Your yeah, there's a, there's a ton of stuff you can do, man. A ton of stuff, you know. So it, it's not true that you can't get strong or you can't get relatively. You can't increase muscle size, you know, just with body weight. It's not true. I mean, look at gymnasts. Okay, they're they're jacked, and all they do is body weight, right? So, that being said, where's I going with this? Oh yeah, so. If you guys are interested, okay, I do train people online now. I started training uh, people online. I took some of my clients, um, in-person clients that I can't see anymore, and then I put them on online now. So I'm training them online. It took me a little bit of time to come up with uh, a system, something that actually works. So I'll put the link down below. So then you could go to that uh, website, you could check it out, and uh, you could apply for a, um, you know, you, you, you apply. Because I don't want to work with anybody. I want to work with people that I could actually help. And my, my coaching style is really not for everybody. I'm kind of, uh, kind of, I put a lot of pressure, man. I put a lot of pressure. I'm relentless, you know, but I do it for your own good. I'm not an ass about it, you know, but uh, I do put pressure, right? And I only want to work with people who actually want to work with me and who want to succeed. So I'll put the link down below if you guys are interested. That being said, guys, um, 
Facebook, I have a Facebook group, a free Facebook group. Okay, I have a private one for my private clients, uh, or for my uh, yeah private uh, uh, online clients. But I have a free one where I share a lot of information and stuff like that. And what's good about Facebook is that uh, if you guys connect with me on Facebook, right, I'll put the links down below, like my name and all that, and the group. If you guys just want to like add yourself in, but it's it's easier to communicate and to keep track of who I'm talking to. And also like we can see each other. I can see your face too. I know who you are and we can, uh, we can talk, we can share videos and, and it's, it's, it's more, um, uh, it's easier. Whereas, you know, YouTube, I, I'm just seeing a bunch of comments and like, okay. And then I answer and, I, and it's hard for me to keep track of everything, right. Of who I'm talking to and all that. And, and, and it allows you guys to share stuff with me too, you know? Uh, and so, so follow me on Facebook, add me on Facebook. I'll put the links down below. And that way, once you friend me, right, then I'll add you to the group. Or if you just want to add yourself to the group, then, you know, you, you know, you, you click uh, request to join and then I, I, I click OK. Right. And then that's where we should all meet up so that we, you know, I make these videos, but it's very one way. Whereas you, with Facebook, if you guys are in the group or you guys are uh, friend me on, on Facebook, then we could talk easier. Right. And of course, I'm on IG, too. So I'll put all those links down below. And also this Friday, guys, I'm doing a charity thing, right? So charity thing on Friday, uh, this, this, this group uh, workout charity thing on IG, right? So you guys could tune in. It'll be at 10 o'clock and uh, there'll be a link there. So if you guys want to donate, it's for a good cause for, uh, for children and for uh, people who are uh, underprivileged, you know, like no food and stuff like that. So I think it's a good thing. Uh, so if you guys are interested, come we'll work out. It'll be body weight only, right? Uh, for an hour, but we're not going to do an actual hour. We're going to do like maybe 10 minutes. We're going to 10 minutes of warm up. We're going to work out for, uh, for about, um, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes. And then after that, we're going to leave, leave a little 10 minutes at the end for, uh, for cool down stretching. And of course, while we're stretching, might as well, we could talk a little bit, but the thing with IG is that it cuts off at, uh, at one hour. So <laughs> we have to, you know, stick all of that in one hour. I'm going to prepare it. So Friday, 10 o'clock. And I managed to, uh, to, to, to convince my, um, um, my manager, my, my boss at the, at the gym where I worked, right. Uh, to use, uh, to use a space there, just me alone, right. With a camera so that I have more space. So I could like jump around and stuff like that. So it's going to be a uh, beginner intermediate. Okay. It won't be like advanced stuff because a lot of people who are watching might not be advanced and there'll be no equipment needed. So if you guys are interested, then that's where I'll be. I'll put all the links down below. And uh, that's it, guys. So um, thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.